So one of the things everybody seems to have heard is that there are no two snowflakes are alike. Uh, but it turns out uh, that's true in nature, but not so much in the lab. My name is Ken Liebrecht. I'm a professor of physics here at Caltech in Pasadena, and I study snowflakes. When I started studying the, the physics of snowflakes, I really wanted to grow them in the lab under controlled conditions. And so that's what some of this equipment is, you see behind me, uh, our growth chambers. Part of it is to try to you know, grow really beautiful crystals that have never been seen before, which is just trying to understand the physics of how they grow. Lately, I've been interested in the artistic side and how to design like the world's most perfect snowflake or the world's biggest snowflake. I realized that if you'd grow two snowflakes very close to one another, you could sort of subject them to the same growth conditions at the same time and grow what I call identical twin snowflakes. The overall six-fold symmetry in a snowflake really comes from the ice crystal lattice, which is how the molecules are lined up. I was uh, invited by Disney to be the snowflake consultant for the movie Frozen. And uh, so I went and just told them all about how snowflakes always had six sides. They never have eight and never have seven. And then the movie came out and they were all six sided. It was just great. And that was my contribution to uh, the movie Frozen. The standard holiday snowflake is called a, a stellar dendrite. It's star-shaped with branches like trees, dendrites. And <clears throat> most people think that snowflakes all look like that, but they don't. Some of them look like columns, uh, a little like, uh, think wooden pencils, hexagonal wooden pencils. Uh, sometimes you just get these long, straight columns growing. You know, I get this question a lot, you know, why you do this? What, what's it going to be good for? And it's not really, you know, meant to be good for anything right now. So I'm really kind of under trying to understand it just from basic research. And I'm really just trying to understand kind of the molecular physics of how crystals grow. Mm -hmm.